right, this is one other example that um, we may or may not have done in, in class, um, but I did make a video of it. And uh, part of uh, the problem is um, we're going to construct a polynomial with some roots, and part of it is we got to foil this piece out. So here is a uh, complex number and its conjugate. So complex roots come in conjugate pairs. So we're going to go ahead and foil here. So I'm going to do x times x and get x squared. And then I'm going to do x times negative 5 plus 3i. Okay, then I'm going to do negative 5 plus 3i times x. And then I'm going to do negative 5 minus 3i times negative 5 plus 3i. Okay, so we get x squared, and then we're going to use the distributive property on each piece here. We get a negative 5x, and a negative 3xi, and then a minus 5x, a plus 3xi, and then we're going to go ahead and foil over here. And then good things happen. We say so long to all the i's. Combine our like terms. We got a 5x and a 5x, which makes a negative 10x. And this i is gone, this i is gone, this i is gone, this i is gone. Those are all gone. i squared is negative 1 for over here, so that's going to be gone too. So no more imaginary numbers. Okay. And that's uh, one, one step for this problem we're going to do here. So we're going to refer back to this um, in the next problem. Just one of those constructing a polynomial. Or are we constructing a polynomial? I can't remember. Maybe it's a deconstructing polynomial. Yeah. Given 5 minus 3i is a... Uh, we should say not factor. We should say root. So given 5 minus 3i is a root of this awful looking polynomial. Looks like actually not going to be too bad, actually. It just looks horrible. I want to find the rest of the roots. Because complex root comes in conjugate pairs, 5 minus 3i is a root, so 5 plus 3i is a root. So here's the 5 minus 3i, and here's the 5 plus 3i. So we already did all that foiling business on the, on the previous slide, so if you want to look at that, you can watch that part again. That became x squared minus 10x plus 34. Okay. So this is going to be a factor of that x to the fourth plus all that other junk. And we're going to use long division to break it down a bit further. Okay. Okay. So x squared times x squared will give me x to the fourth. Negative 10x times x squared gives me negative 10x cubed. 34 times x squared gives me 34x squared. Then we're going to subtract. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth. There's no x to the fourth, so that's gone. Negative 15 minus negative 10 will be negative 5x cubed. 60 minus 34 should be 26x squared. Bring down your next term, which is the 70x, and play the same game all over again x squared times negative 5x will give me a negative 5x cubed. Negative 10x times negative 5x will give me positive 50x squared. And 34 times negative 5 will give me 150 plus 20 or negative 170x. Go ahead and subtract again. Negative 5x cubed minus negative 5x cubed is going to be no 5x cubed, so those are all gone. 26 minus 50 will be negative 24x squared. 70 minus negative 170 will be, uh, I think it's 240, 240x, okay? Bring down your last term, which is the 816. 
x squared goes into negative 24x squared, negative 24 times. Uh, negative 10x times negative 24 will be 240x. And 34 times negative 24 will be 816. And we get a nice remainder of 0. Okay, Our quotient is, is x squared minus 5x minus 24. That's going to factor into x minus 8, x plus 3. So our roots are, from the complex conjugate, we start out with 5 minus 3i. Then complex root comes in conjugate pairs, so that's where we got the 5 plus 3i. And then we had to do the long division to find that the quotient left over was x minus 8, x minus 3, so that gives us roots of 8 and negative 3. So fourth degree polynomial had all four roots. So this is probably about as yucky as they're going to get for this class.